The Brave Rabbit and the Sly Fox In a forest far away lived a brave rabbit named Rosie. She was small in size, but big in courage. She had numerous friends in the forest, including a sly fox named Max. One hot summer day, a raging wildfire broke out in the forest. The animals of the forest were in great danger, and they all ran helter-skelter, looking for a way to escape. The fire was moving fast and the animals were struggling to keep up with its pace. Rosie quickly gathered all her friends and came up with a plan. She suggested that they all jump into a nearby lake, which was deep enough to keep them safe from the fire. Max who was standing on the sidelines was listening to Rosie's plan and thinking about his own escape route. He decided that he would use Rosie's plan to his advantage and trick the other animals. As soon as the animals jumped into the water, Max slyly made a run for it. Rosie, who noticed this, immediately swam towards him and asked him why he was leaving the others behind. Max replied, I am going to get help. I know a secret path out of the forest, and I will return with help to save everyone. Rosie, being the kind-hearted soul she was, believed Max and let him go. However, as soon as Max was out of sight, he ran as fast as he could, never intending to help the other animals. Meanwhile, Rosie and the other animals were waiting patiently in the water, hoping that Max would return with help. Hours passed, and there was still no sign of Max. Just when they thought they were doomed, they saw a group of forest firefighters approaching the lake. Max had indeed kept his word and led them to the animals. Thanks to Rosie's quick thinking and brave leadership, they all survived the wildfire. Max, on the other hand, had learned a valuable lesson about honesty and friendship. From that day forward, Max turned over a new leaf and became a loyal friend to Rosie, helping her protect the forest from any danger that came their way. The Brave Little Squirrel In the heart of the forest lived a brave little squirrel named Sam. Sam was always curious and loved exploring new territories in the forest. One day, while he was out exploring, Sam stumbled upon a group of animals huddled together in fear. What's going on here? Why are you all so scared? asked Sam. It's the big bad wolf. He's been terrorizing us all day, replied the rabbit. Sam knew he had to do something to help his friends. He had heard stories about the big bad wolf, but he also knew that he couldn't let his friends live in fear. Sam took a deep breath and bravely marched towards the wolf. The wolf sneered at Sam, thinking he was an easy prey. You're just a tiny squirrel, what are you going to do, taunted the wolf. Sam didn't back down. He knew he had to be clever and find a way to defeat the wolf. Sam quickly ran up to a nearby tree and started throwing acorns at the wolf. The wolf was surprised and couldn't dodge all of the acorns. As the wolf yelped in pain, Sam ran to the rabbit and the other animals. Quickly, let's all work together and chase the wolf away, exclaimed Sam. The animals banded together and charged at the wolf. The wolf was outnumbered and had to retreat back into the depths of the forest. With the wolf gone, Sam felt proud of himself and his bravery. He learned that no matter how small you are, you can make a difference if you have courage and determination. From that day on, Sam became known as the hero of the forest, and all the animals looked up to him with admiration. The End The Brave Bunny and the Sly Fox In a lush forest, there lived a brave bunny named Benny. He was well known for his courage and quick thinking amongst his fellow animal friends. One sunny day, Benny decided to explore a newly discovered section of the forest. As he was hopping along, he came across a sly fox named Freddy. Freddy had been eyeing Benny ever since he entered the forest, and now he saw the perfect opportunity to pounce on him. But little did Freddy know, Benny was no ordinary bunny. Benny quickly noticed the fox's sneaky behavior and immediately thought of a plan to outsmart him. Benny pretended to befriend Freddy and challenged him to a race. They agreed that the first one to reach the other side of the clearing would win. The race began, and Benny took the lead. However, as they approached the finish line, Benny suddenly stopped and pretended to catch his breath. 
when Freddy reached him, he pounced on Benny, believing he had won. But to his surprise, Benny quickly flipped over, kicking Freddy in the face with his powerful hind legs. Freddy was stunned and retreated back into the forest. Benny had saved himself from becoming a snack and had once again proven his bravery and quick thinking. From that day on, Benny became known as the bravest bunny in the forest who always knew how to outsmart his enemies. The other animals looked up to him and respected him. And as for Freddy, he learned his lesson and never again underestimated the bravery of the small but mighty animals in the forest. The Brave Tortoise In a dense forest lived a group of animals. Among them was a tortoise named Tom. Tom was very brave and loved to explore the forest. One day, when he was out on his adventure, he spotted a group of rabbits running frantically. Curious, he followed them to find out what was going on. As he approached the rabbits, he noticed a huge eagle hovering above them. The eagle had been attacking the rabbits. And Tom knew that he had to do something to save them. Tom looked around and saw a large mushroom nearby. He quickly climbed on top of it and shouted at the eagle to leave the rabbits alone. The eagle, surprised by the sudden noise, turned to look at Tom. Tom used this opportunity to throw a small pebble at the eagle's head. The pebble hit its target, and the eagle flew away in fear. The rabbits were overjoyed and thanked Tom for saving their lives. Tom, always humble, smiled and said that he was just doing his duty as a friend. From that day on, the animals of the forest looked up to Tom as a hero. Tom continued to be brave and adventurous, but he never forgot the importance of helping others in need. And so, Tom, the brave tortoise, became a legend in the forest, inspiring all the animals with his courage and kindness. The Wise Old Owl Once upon a time, in a dense forest, there lived a community of animals who loved to gather and have fun together. One day, they were suddenly faced with a terrible dilemma as a gang of mischievous monkeys arrived and began playing pranks on the other animals. They pulled their tails, stole their food, and disrupted their peaceful atmosphere. The animals tried to stop the monkeys, but they were no match for them. They were too small and weak. That's when the wise old owl decided to intervene. She had sharp eyes, quick reflexes, and was respected by all the animals in the forest. The owl approached the monkeys and offered to make a deal with them. She suggested that they could have all the fruits from the tallest tree in the forest if they promised to never disturb the other animals again. The monkeys, being greedy and foolish, agreed instantly. However, the owl had a secret plan. She knew that once the monkeys climbed to the top of the tree, they would get stuck and not be able to come back down. And that's exactly what happened. The monkeys were trapped at the top of the tree, and they cried out for help. The other animals heard their cries and rushed to see what had happened. The owl explained to them what she had done and why she had done it. The animals were relieved and grateful to the owl for putting an end to the monkey's mischief. From that day on, the owl became even more respected and revered in the forest. She had saved them all from the trouble caused by the monkeys. And the rest of the animals vowed to always trust and respect the wise old owl. And so, peace was restored in the forest. And the animals went back to enjoying their carefree lives once again. The Brave Mouse In a faraway forest, there was a small mouse named Max. Most animals in the forest didn't pay much attention to him because he was so small, but Max was brave and determined. One day, while he was out looking for food, he stumbled upon a group of animals that were being bullied by a mean cat named Whiskers. Max knew he had to do something to help. He devised a plan to distract Whiskers so the other animals could escape. Max ran up to Whiskers and bit him on his tail. Whiskers turned around in anger, but Max was too quick. He darted behind a tree and hid. Whiskers searched around for Max, but couldn't find him. Meanwhile, the other animals had made their escape and were safe from harm. Max's bravery and quick thinking had saved them all. From that day forward, Max became a hero in the forest. 
The other animals looked up to him and respected him. Even Whiskers, who had been humiliated by the small mouse, began to fear him. Max knew he had done the right thing, and he felt proud of himself for helping others. The End The Brave Bunny Once upon a time, in a dense forest, lived a small bunny named Benny. He was known for his bravery and his spirit to help others in need. One day, while Benny was out playing in the forest, he heard a loud cry for help. He followed the sound and found a baby bird who had fallen from its nest. The bird was lying helpless on the ground, unable to fly back up to its nest. Benny immediately knew he had to help the bird. Without wasting any time, Benny hopped onto a nearby tree and climbed it with great speed. Reaching the top of the tree, he carefully picked up the baby bird in his mouth and hopped back down to the ground with it safely. The baby bird was grateful for Benny's help and thanked him in its own sweet chirping voice. Benny smiled and said, I am happy to help. It is what we do for each other in the forest. The baby bird then flew away happily back to its nest. From that day on, Benny became known as the bravest bunny in the forest. His courage and kindness inspired all the animals in the forest to help each other whenever they could. Benny's act of kindness not only helped the baby bird but also brought the animals of the forest together as a community. They realized that no matter how different they were from each other, they were all part of the same ecosystem and needed to support each other. And so, Benny lived happily ever after, with the love and respect of all the animals in the forest. The Courageous Rabbit and the Mischievous Fox In a dense forest, there lived a courageous rabbit named Benny. Benny was known all over the forest for his bravery and intelligence. One day, as he was hopping around, he noticed a mischievous fox named Felix, who was up to no good. Felix had been stealing food from the other animals' homes for weeks, leaving them hungry and scared. Benny knew that something had to be done to stop him but he also knew that he couldn't do it alone. Benny decided to gather all his animal friends to form a plan. They all gathered together and decided to create a trap for Felix. They worked together tirelessly, using their unique skills to build the perfect trap. The next day, they put their plan into action. Benny hopped in front of Felix, drawing his attention, while the other animals hid nearby. As soon as Felix got close enough, the other animals sprang into action, trapping him in the snare they had cleverly set up. Felix pleaded for forgiveness from all the animals he had wronged. Benny took pity on him and suggested they all give him a second chance. The animals agreed, but they warned Felix that if he ever did something like this again, he would face the consequences. Felix learned his lesson and became a better fox, helping the other animals whenever he could. Benny's bravery and leadership brought all the animals together, creating a stronger and more united community. From that day forward, the forest animals lived in peace and harmony, thanks to the efforts of Benny and his friends. The Wild Adventures of the Jungle Friends Deep within the dense jungle lived a group of animal friends. There was Sammy the monkey, Timmy the tiger, Lenny the leopard, and Tommy the tortoise. They all lived in peace and harmony, sharing food and looking out for each other, until one day, when their peaceful existence was threatened by a gang of poachers. The poachers were determined to catch all the animals they could and sell them for a hefty profit. They had set traps throughout the jungle. And it was only a matter of time before one of our jungle friends fell into their trap. It was Sammy the monkey who got caught. He was out collecting fruits when he landed on a trap disguised as a branch. The trap activated and sent him tumbling down to the ground. When he woke up, he found himself locked in a cage. The other animals searched high and low for Sammy, but it was Tommy, the slow-moving tortoise, who eventually found him. Together, they devised a plan to save their friend. While Lenny distracted the poachers by leading them away from the cage, Timmy used his strength to break the lock on the cage. Sammy was free. With the help of his jungle friends, Sammy outwitted the poachers and sent them packing. From that day on, the group of animal friends watched over each other even more closely, knowing they had protected each other from harm.
The wild adventures of the jungle friends never ceased, but they always knew they had each other's backs. The Brave Little Mouse In a lush green forest, there lived a brave little mouse named Max. He was unlike any other mouse in the forest as he was fearless and adventurous. Max spent his days exploring every nook and cranny of the forest without fear of getting lost or encountering predators. One day, while on one of his usual adventures, Max heard a loud rumbling noise. He quickly followed the sound and discovered that it was coming from a small rabbit hole. Max's curiosity got the best of him, and he decided to investigate. As he peered into the hole, he saw that a family of rabbits was trapped inside, unable to escape. Without hesitation, Max knew he had to act fast. He remembered a secret passage that led to the other side of the forest, where he could find help. With all his might, Max pushed through the underbrush, dodging obstacles and avoiding predators, until he reached the other side of the forest. There, he met a wise old owl named Oliver, who was known for his wisdom and problem-solving skills. Max told him about the trapped rabbits and asked for his help. Oliver suggested they gather all the animals in the forest and work together to rescue the rabbits. Max led the way, rallying all the animals to help with the rescue mission. A group of strong deer worked together to move a heavy boulder away from the rabbit hole, while a friendly squirrel used his sharp claws to dig a path out of the hole. Finally, the rabbits were free, and they hopped away to safety. The animals in the forest all turned to Max to thank him for his bravery and leadership. From that day forward, Max became known as the hero of the forest, and all the animals looked up to him. Max realized that he was not just a brave mouse, but also a great leader. And so, Max continued to explore the forest, but now he had a new purpose. He knew that no matter what challenges he faced, he could always count on the support of his animal friends. The Courageous Fox and the Cunning Raccoon Once upon a time, in a dense forest, lived a wise old fox named Felix. He was known throughout the forest for his intellect and brave acts. One day, while walking through the forest, he stumbled upon a cunning raccoon named Rudy. Rudy had a reputation for being sneaky and always causing trouble. Felix approached Rudy and asked him why he was always up to no good. Rudy simply replied that it was his nature to be mischievous. Felix knew he needed to intervene before Rudy caused any serious harm. The next day, Felix noticed that a group of young rabbits were missing. He searched the forest and eventually found them trapped in a hunter's net. It was then that Felix realized that Rudy had been the one to set the trap. Felix confronted Rudy about his dastardly deed and encouraged him to use his intelligence for good. Rudy had never been spoken to so kindly before and began to see the error of his ways. Together, Felix and Rudy freed the young rabbits from the net and returned them to their families. Rudy realized that he didn't have to be sneaky and hurtful to be respected. From that day forward, Rudy used his cunning to help others and became a trusted member of the forest community. And so, the courageous fox and the once cunning raccoon lived happily ever after and their unlikely friendship became an example for all the animals in the forest. The Brave Little Squirrel In the heart of a dense forest lived a brave little squirrel named Skippy. While most squirrels spent their days collecting acorns and nuts, Skippy had an insatiable thirst for adventure. He often daydreamed about venturing beyond the safety of his tree hollow home. One day, while gathering food, Skippy heard rustling in the bushes. He hesitated, fearing it might be a predator. But curiosity got the best of him, and he scampered towards the sound. To his surprise, he found an injured sparrow lying on the ground. The sparrow's wing was bent awkwardly, and he looked like he was in severe pain. Skippy knew he couldn't just leave the sparrow there to suffer. He quickly ran up to the nearest tree, then grabbed a few soft leaves from a branch. He spread them under the sparrow and helped him onto them to give support to his body. Determined to help his new friend, Skippy set out in search of a cure. He knew that the wise old owl who lived in the largest tree in the forest might be able to assist him. Skippy bravely set out alone on his journey to the great oak. 
It was a perilous journey filled with many obstacles like rushing streams, steep hills, and dense forest thickets. After many hours, he finally reached the huge tree and begged the owl for help. The wise old owl listened intently to Skippy's story, then recommended a special herb that could heal the sparrow. Skippy rushed back to the injured sparrow and gathered the healing herbs. He carefully fed the sparrow the herb and sat with him all night, nursing him back to health. Days later, when the sparrow's wing had healed completely, he flapped his wings and took flight, saying goodbye to Skippy with a chirp. Skippy watched him fly away, feeling proud of what he had accomplished. From that day onwards, the story of Skippy's bravery spread throughout the forest, making him a hero to all who lived within it. The other animals knew that they could always rely on Skippy when someone was in need. And as for Skippy, he felt he had found his true calling in life, to help others in any way he could. The Lost Otter Once upon a time, in a dense forest, lived a family of otters. There were two parents and two children. They were a happy family that enjoyed playing together in the clear stream that ran through the forest. One day, while they were out playing, the younger otter spotted a delicious fish and ran after it. The other family members followed, but they soon realized that the little one had wandered too far and was now lost. The family searched for hours but could not find the little otter. They decided to ask the other animals in the forest if they had seen any sign of their child. The deer, the rabbit, and the squirrel all shook their heads. The owl suggested that they search near the riverbank as it was one of the little otter's favorite spots. As the sun began to set, the family saw a small figure walking slowly towards them. It was their lost child, looking tired and hungry. They rushed towards the little otter, and the parents hugged it tightly. The little otter told them that it had gotten lost and had wandered around the forest for hours. Unable to find its way back. Just as it was about to give up hope, a kind old tortoise had appeared and offered to help guide the little otter back to its family. The family thanked the tortoise for his kindness and welcomed him into their home. From that day on, they played together every day, and the little otter never strayed too far away from its family again. In the end, the family learned to be grateful for the kindness of others, especially those who may not be as quick or agile as themselves. They all lived happily ever after in their little part of the woods, surrounded by caring friends. The Brave Little Squirrel Once upon a time, in a dense forest, lived a brave little squirrel named Bucky. He was different from other squirrels as he had a reddish-brown fur with a white heart-shaped patch on his forehead. One day, while Bucky was gathering nuts, he saw a group of rabbits being chased by a giant eagle. Bucky knew that the rabbits were in grave danger, so he decided to help them. Without wasting any time, he climbed up a tree and started throwing acorns at the eagle. The eagle was caught off guard and flew away. The rabbits were overjoyed and grateful to Bucky for saving their lives. They invited him to their warren and offered him all sorts of food. Bucky was overwhelmed by their kindness and decided to stay with them for a while. Days passed, and Bucky became good friends with the rabbits. One day, while they were playing in the fields, they heard a loud noise. They turned around and saw a pack of wolves approaching them. The rabbits were terrified and hid behind Bucky. Bucky knew that he had to act fast. He remembered that wolves were afraid of loud noises, so he started making as much noise as he could. He banged his tail on the ground, and the rabbits joined in by thumping their feet. The wolves were confused and scared, and they ran away. The rabbits cheered for Bucky, and they all hugged him tightly. From that day onwards, Bucky became the protector of the rabbits, and he continued to live with them happily ever after. The Journey of Little Squirrel Once upon a time, in a forest deep and vast, there lived a brave little squirrel named Nutmeg. She was known to be the bravest among all the animals of the forest. She was small, but that didn't stop her from being courageous. One day, the forest was facing a crisis. The trees were drying up. The flowers were wilting, and the animals were getting sick. They didn't know what was happening, but they knew that they needed help. 
Nutmeg decided to take matters into her own hands and go on a mission to find the cause of the problem. She set out for a long journey through the forest, crossing rivers and climbing mountains. Along the way, she met different animals who asked her what she was doing. She told them about the crisis and how she was on a mission to save the forest. Many discouraged her, telling her that it was impossible for a small squirrel like her to achieve such a feat, but Nutmeg remained determined and kept going. Finally, after days of searching, Nutmeg reached the top of a hill where she found a big dam. The dam had been created by beavers who had blocked the river, causing the water to dry up. Nutmeg knew she had to do something, so she started to chew away at the logs, one by one, until the river started to flow again. As soon as the river started to flow, the trees started to bloom again, and the animals came back to full health. Nutmeg had saved the forest. From that day on, Nutmeg became a hero in the eyes of all the animals in the forest. They celebrated her bravery and thanked her for saving their home. Nutmeg had proven that even though she was small, she could make a big difference. And with that, she went to bed knowing that she had made a positive impact on the world. The Brave Bunny and the Cunning Coyote Once upon a time, in a vast green meadow, lived a brave bunny named Benny. Benny was known among his animal friends for his courage and kind heart. One day, while Benny was gathering some carrots from his garden, he heard the sound of someone approaching. It was the cunning coyote, who was infamous for stealing food from other animals. Benny knew he had to act quickly, so he started digging a hole right under his garden. The coyote came closer and greeted Benny with a sly smile and asked if he could have some of his carrots. Benny, being the kind bunny he was, offered the coyote some of the best carrots from his garden. However, as the coyote started to eat the carrots, Benny made his move and dug a hole right underneath the coyote's feet, causing him to fall into the hole. The clever bunny then threw some dirt on top of the hole, trapping the coyote inside. Benny ran to grab his animal friends, and together, they decided to teach the coyote a lesson. They made sure the coyote would never steal any food from their meadow again by assigning him tasks that would keep him busy all day long. The coyote soon learned his lesson and apologized to Benny and his animal friends for his mischievous behavior. From then on, the animals lived peacefully. And Benny, the brave bunny, became the hero of the meadow. The Fox and the Rabbit in a dense forest, there lived a wily fox named Red and a timid rabbit named Bun. They both lived in harmony, never bothering each other, despite their differences. One day, as Red was hunting for his dinner, he stumbled upon a juicy carrot that belonged to Bun. Just as he was about to take a bite, Bun scurried in and pleaded with him not to eat it. Red could see how much the carrot meant to the poor little rabbit, so he decided to make a deal with her. He promised never to harm her or any of her kin, in exchange for half of the carrots she harvested every season. Bun was hesitant at first, but eventually agreed as she saw the fairness in the exchange. As time passed, Red kept true to his word and never laid a paw on Bun or any of her fellow rabbits. They both grew old together, with Red being the protector of the rabbit community and Bun being the caretaker of the forest vegetation. They both knew that without each other, they would have never survived in the wild. Years went by, and one day, Red fell sick and knew that his time had come. Bun, who had grown fond of Red, came to him and thanked him for his kindness over the years. As Red took his last breath, he left a message for the next generation of foxes, telling them to be kind to their fellow creatures, just like he had been with the rabbits. Bun never forgot Red's teachings, and passed it on to her children and grandchildren. And so, the legacy of the fox and the rabbit lived on, spreading love and kindness throughout the forest. From that day on, the rabbits never feared the foxes, and the foxes never hunted them. Instead, they coexisted in peace, thanks to the lessons taught by Red and Bun. The Wise Old Owl in the depths of the forest, there was a wise old owl who lived high up in a tree. He was admired and respected by all the other animals for his wisdom and guidance. 
One day, a young rabbit, called Thumper, came to seek the owl's advice. A oh, wise old owl, said Thumper, I have lost my way in the forest. I don't know how to get back to my burrow. The owl nodded thoughtfully and said, Listen carefully, young Thumper. The best way to find your way back is to follow the North Star. It will lead you home. Thumper was grateful and thanked the owl for his help. He set out on his journey, following the North Star as the owl had advised. Along the way, he met a fox who offered to guide him. No thank you, said Thumper, I trust the wise old owl's advice. I know I'll find my way back home. And so he did. Thumper reached his burrow just as the sun was rising. He was overjoyed and knew that he owed his gratitude to the wise old owl who had helped him find his way back. From that day on, Thumper would often visit the owl to seek his advice and guidance. The wise old owl was always happy to help and the two became good friends. And so, the wise old owl continued to be loved and respected by all the animals in the forest for his knowledge, kindness, and guidance. The Brave Little Squirrel Once upon a time in a dense forest, there lived a brave little squirrel named Nutmeg. He was small and nimble, with a bushy tail and bright eyes that always sparkled with curiosity. Nutmeg loved climbing trees and collecting nuts, but most of all, he loved exploring his surroundings. One day, as Nutmeg was scurrying through the forest, he heard a loud and unsettling noise. It sounded like the earth was splitting in half. The little squirrel became very frightened and ran back to his tree as fast as he could. When he arrived, he saw that all the animals in the forest were gathered together in fear. It was then that Nutmeg noticed a large boulder rolling down the hill towards the animals' gathering spot. The other animals were too scared to do anything, but Nutmeg knew what he had to do. He ran towards the boulder and tried to push it back up the hill. But the rock was too heavy, and Nutmeg was just a little squirrel. Suddenly, a group of ants appeared, marching in unison, towards the rock. Nutmeg watched in amazement as they climbed onto the rock and began pushing it back up the hill. With the ants' help, Nutmeg was finally able to push the boulder back to its original position. The other animals were amazed at Nutmeg's bravery and the ants' strength. From that day on, Nutmeg became good friends with the ants and even helped them collect food for their colony. And whenever there was danger in the forest, the animals knew that they could count on Nutmeg and the ants to come to their rescue. From that day on, Nutmeg was known as the bravest squirrel in the forest, and the ants were respected for their strength and loyalty. They learned that no matter how big or small you are, you can achieve great things when you work together. The Wise Tortoise In a lush forest lived a group of animals who had heard of the wise tortoise. They often went to him for advice on important matters. One day, the king of the forest, a majestic lion, fell ill. The animals were worried and did not know what to do. The rabbit suggested they should visit the wise tortoise and ask for his help. They all agreed, and the rabbit led the way. After a long journey, they finally arrived at the tortoise's home. The tortoise listened carefully to their concerns and thought deeply about how to help the lion. He then gave them a solution that would require everyone's help. We must all work together, said the tortoise. Let's collect medicinal plants and herbs from different parts of the forest and prepare a healing potion for the lion. Excited to help, the animals quickly got to work. And after much effort, they were able to gather all the necessary ingredients. The tortoise used his wisdom to mix them correctly and create the potion. The lion drank the potion, and soon enough, he was healed. Overjoyed. The animals thanked the tortoise for his wise guidance and praised him for his brilliant leadership skills. From that day forward, the animals looked up to the tortoise as their wise leader. The humble and kind tortoise had demonstrated that greatness comes not from size or strength, but from intelligence and compassion. And so, the wise tortoise continued to lead the animals of the forest for many years, teaching them the importance of teamwork and the power of wisdom. The Treasure Hunt 
In the dense forest, there lived a group of animals, a wise owl, a quick fox, and a strong bear. One day, while they were out exploring the forest, they stumbled upon a treasure map. The map was old and tattered, but it clearly showed the location of a hidden treasure. The three friends decided to embark on a treasure hunt and set out to find the treasure. They walked through the woods, climbed up steep hills, and crossed rivers, always following the map's clues. During their journey, they encountered many challenges, but they stuck together and overcame every obstacle. As they finally reached the spot marked on the map, they found a large chest. Inside the chest was a pile of glittering jewels and shiny coins. Oh, it was a sight to behold. But just as they were about to take a closer look, a sly wolf appeared out of nowhere. The wolf had also been on the hunt for the treasure and was determined to take it all for himself. A fierce battle broke out between the wolf and the three friends. The wolf was agile and swift, but the trio used their strength and wit to combat him. In the end, they managed to overpower the wolf and chased him off into the woods. With the threat gone, the trio finally got to admire their treasure. They were ecstatic at their achievement and decided to share it equally amongst themselves. From that day on, the owl, fox, and bear remained the best of friends, and people still talk about their adventure in the forest to this day. So if ever you are out exploring the woods, keep your eyes open, who knows what treasures lie ahead. The End The Brave Little Mouse Once upon a time, in a forest filled with all sorts of animals, there lived a little mouse named Molly. She was brave and always curious about the world outside her burrow. One day, while exploring, she came across a group of animals gathered around a large tree. Molly approached the group and discovered that a family of birds had been trapped in the tree after a storm knocked down their nest. The animals were trying to figure out how to rescue the birds, but none of them could climb the tall tree. Without hesitation, Molly offered to help. She bravely climbed up the tree, inch by inch, until she reached the birds. With her tiny paws, she carefully carried each bird back down to safety. The animals cheered for Molly, impressed by her bravery and intelligence. From then on, Molly became a hero among the forest creatures. She was no longer just a small mouse, but a brave and powerful member of the animal community. Years passed, and Molly grew old. Her body weakened, and she could no longer climb trees or run as fast as she used to. But the animals never forgot the brave little mouse who had saved the birds and the forest. They continued to tell her story to their children and grandchildren, passing down the legacy of Molly's bravery and kindness for generations to come. The Unlikely Friendship In a forest filled with all sorts of creatures, there lived a shy deer named Daisy. She spent most of her time alone, grazing in the meadow and wandering around the woods. One day, as she was enjoying a peaceful afternoon by the lake, she heard a loud growling sound coming from nearby. Scared, she started running but tripped and fell down. Looking up, she saw a giant wolf standing over her. Daisy braced herself for the worst, expecting the wolf to attack her any second. But to her amazement, the wolf spoke in a calm and gentle voice, I'm sorry I frightened you. I didn't mean to. My name is Grayson. Suspicious at first, Daisy listened carefully as Grayson explained that he had been out hunting for days without any success. He was weak and hungry and had nowhere to go. Although terrified, Daisy empathized with him and offered to share her food and shelter. Grayson reluctantly accepted Daisy's offer and followed her to her cozy den. Over the next few days, Daisy took care of Grayson and kept him safe from harm. Gradually, they began to trust each other and became best friends. As winter approached, the forest became colder and food became scarce. Daisy knew that she had to find a way to help Grayson survive the winter. So, she decided to go on a dangerous mission into the unknown parts of the forest to find food. Days went by, and Daisy had not returned. Grayson grew worried and went looking for her. He searched high and low until he found her lying unconscious on the ground, surrounded by a pack of wild dogs. 
Grayson summoned all his strength, took a deep breath, and charged towards the pack of dogs, determined to save his friend. In the end, Grayson fought off the dogs and managed to carry Daisy back to safety. As Daisy woke up, she looked at Grayson with gratitude and said, I thought I was going to die. Thank you for saving me. Grayson replied, you would have done the same for me. That's what friends do. They look out for each other. From that day on, Grayson and Daisy were inseparable. And their unlikely friendship became a legend that the animals of the forest still talk about today. The End The Brave Bunny In a dense forest, there lived a group of animals. They were all friends and helped each other in times of need. Among them was a bunny named Benny who was known for his courage and bravery. One day, while Benny was out exploring the forest, he heard a loud growling noise. Fearing for his safety, he turned around to see a fierce-looking wolf staring at him with sharp teeth bared. Benny didn't lose hope and decided to face the wolf bravely. The other animals tried to stop him and begged him not to take such a risk, but Benny wouldn't listen. He ran towards the wolf, dodging its attacks and biting and scratching it with all his might. The wolf, taken aback by Benny's fierceness, finally fled into the darkness of the forest. Benny returned to his friends, injured but feeling proud of his bravery. The other animals cheered for him and praised his courage. From that day on, Benny became the hero of the forest. His bravery inspired other animals to stand up for themselves and never give up in the face of danger. Benny's story is still told among the animals of the forest, reminding them that even the smallest and seemingly weakest of creatures can become a hero if they have the courage to stand up and fight. The End The Brave Little Bunny Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, there lived a brave little bunny named Benny. Benny was unlike any other bunny in the forest. Unlike his peers who spent most of their time eating carrots and lounging in the sun, Benny loved to explore the unknown parts of the forest. One day, while Benny was wandering deep into the forest, he heard a terrible scream. Curious, he ran towards the source of the noise. As he got closer, he saw a group of little birds huddled together on a branch, looking scared. Benny asked the birds what happened, and they told him that a sly fox had come to take them away. The fox had promised the birds he would take them to a beautiful garden with plenty of food to eat. But as soon as they had flown with him, the fox turned his back and snatched them up one by one. Without a second thought, Benny sprang into action. He hopped over to the fox's lair and began to chew through the rope that held the birdcage. As he worked, the fox appeared and snarled at Benny. Get out of here, bunny. These birds are mine. The fox growled. But Benny was not afraid. He continued to gnaw away at the rope until it fell apart. The little birds flew free and scattered in different directions. The fox lunged at Benny, but the little bunny dodged and darted around the fox. Benny was fast and nimble, and soon he had the fox running in circles. Exhausted, the fox gave up and ran away. Benny felt proud of himself for saving the birds, and the little birds thanked him for his bravery. From that day onwards, Benny became a hero in the forest. Whenever anyone needed help, they knew Benny was the one to call. And so, the brave little bunny continued to explore the unknown and help those in need. Benny had discovered that there was much more to life than just eating and lounging. The Lion King's Dilemma Once upon a time in the heart of the African savanna, there lived a great lion king named Simba. Simba was loved and respected by all the animals in the kingdom, for he was a just and fair ruler. One day, while taking a stroll through his kingdom, Simba came across a group of young lions. They were all malnourished and looked weak. Simba was saddened by their condition and asked them what had happened. The young lions replied that their parents had been killed by a group of hunters who had come to the forest in search of prey. The hunters had killed many of the animals and had taken away their parents as trophies. Simba was enraged by this news and decided to take action. He gathered all the lions in his kingdom and made a plan to attack the hunters. They knew it was a risky move. 
but they were ready to do anything to protect their families. On the night of the attack, the lions crept up on the hunters and pounced on them. The battle was tough and brutal, but the lions had the advantage of surprise and their fierce courage. After the hunters were defeated, Simba and his council of lions had a dilemma. They knew that the hunters would come back for revenge, and they also knew that they needed to protect their kingdom. So they decided to send a delegation to the nearest human settlements to negotiate a peace treaty. It was a tough decision. But the lions knew that it was important to protect their families and their home. In the end, the peace treaty was successful, and the lions and humans were able to coexist peacefully. Simba was proud of his decision and knew that it was the right thing to do. He had not only protected his kingdom, but he had also shown compassion and wisdom in dealing with the case. From that day on, the lions in the kingdom knew that they could count on their king to protect them and keep them safe. And all the animals in the savanna lived happily ever after. The Mischievous Monkey Brothers In the heart of the jungle lived two monkey brothers named Max and Milo. They were both mischievous and loved to play pranks on other animals. One day, while swinging from tree to tree, they stumbled upon a nest filled with juicy ripe mangoes. Without thinking, Max and Milo quickly grabbed all the mangoes and took off. However, their joy was short-lived when they were caught by a pack of furious monkeys who claimed the mangoes were rightfully theirs. Max and Milo tried to argue, but it was no use. The pack wanted revenge. The pack leader, a massive gorilla, demanded that Max and Milo perform a task as punishment for their theft. They had to retrieve a rare fruit from deep within the jungle. In return, the pack would forgive them and let them keep the mangoes. Max and Milo reluctantly agreed and set out on their journey. As they made their way through the jungle, they encountered many dangers, including raging rivers and fierce predators. But they persevered, using their cunning and quick wits to overcome obstacles. Finally, they reached the spot where the rare fruit grew, but to their surprise, it was guarded by a massive python. Max and Milo knew they couldn't take on the python alone, so they used their wit to come up with a plan. They quickly found a long stick, and with one swift motion, they knocked it into the air. The python struck at the stick, wrapping itself around it and leaving the fruit unguarded. Max and Milo seized the opportunity and snatched the rare fruit. As they made their way back, they were met with cheers and applause from the pack of monkeys. Max and Milo had proven themselves and had earned the respect of the pack. From that day on, they promised never to steal again and became known as two of the bravest monkeys in the jungle. The Mischievous Monkeys Deep in the heart of a dense jungle lived a group of mischievous monkeys. These monkeys were notorious for playing pranks on each other and the other animals in the jungle. One of the most mischievous monkeys was a young monkey named Max Max was always up to something, and he loved causing trouble for his fellow monkeys and the animals around him. One day, Max and his friends decided to play a prank on the wise old owl who lived at the edge of the jungle. They knew that the owl was always proud of his intelligence and knowledge of the jungle, so they came up with a plan to confuse him. They gathered a bunch of colorful leaves and painted them to look like different fruits. Then, they placed them in a hidden spot near the owl's tree and waited for him to find them. As expected, the owl stumbled upon the leaves and was thrilled at the discovery of all these new and exotic fruits. But as he began to eat them, he quickly realized that they weren't real. Angry and embarrassed, the owl flew away in defeat, leaving the monkeys laughing with delight. But soon after, the monkeys realized the error of their ways. They had caused a respected member of the jungle to feel foolish and embarrassed. The monkeys felt terrible about what they had done and decided to make things right. They gathered together and created a beautiful bouquet of flowers, which they brought to the owl's tree as a peace offering. The owl was deeply touched by the monkey's gesture. He forgave them and thanked them for taking responsibility for their actions. From that day on, the monkeys learned to use their mischievous energy in positive ways. Bringing joy to the jungle instead of causing chaos.
The End The Serpent Kingdom In the heart of a dense jungle, there lived a kingdom of snakes ruled by a wise and kind king named Cobra. He was known to be a fair ruler, who always put his subjects first. The kingdom was filled with snakes of different shapes and sizes. Some were tiny and harmless, while others were large and venomous. One day, a group of snakes entered the kingdom, led by a cunning and treacherous snake named Viper. Viper wanted to take over the kingdom. And he knew that the only way to do it was to get rid of Cobra. So, he began to spread lies and rumors about the king. He told the snakes that Cobra was weak and ineffectual, and that he was not fit to lead them. At first, the other snakes didn't believe him, but Viper was very convincing. He even managed to turn some of Cobra's most loyal subjects against him. Soon, the kingdom was divided, with some snakes supporting Cobra, and others siding with Viper. The tension between the two groups grew more and more intense, and it seemed like a full-blown war was inevitable. But just when things were about to spiral out of control, Cobra had an idea. He decided to hold a contest to determine who would be the true ruler of the kingdom. The contest was a simple one. Each snake would have to climb to the top of a tall tree and bring back a golden apple. The first snake to do so would be crowned the king or queen of the kingdom. Both Cobra and Viper participated in the contest, along with many other snakes. The climb was long and difficult, but eventually, one snake emerged victorious. It was Cobra himself. He had managed to reach the top of the tree and get the golden apple. With this, Cobra proved once and for all that he was the rightful ruler of the kingdom. Viper and his followers were banished, and peace was restored to the land. From that day on, the snakes of the kingdom lived in harmony, under the wise and just rule of their beloved Cobra. The End The Little Elephant Who Could Once upon a time, in the heart of an enormous forest, there existed a group of elephants. They were the largest animals in the forest and were feared by all other creatures. However, one little elephant stood out from the rest. His name was Jumbo. But he wasn't like the other elephants. He was small and weak, and he always struggled to keep up with the rest of the herd. One day, as the herd was grazing in the open fields, they heard a terrifying roar coming from the shadows of the trees. All the elephants stopped eating and huddled together in fear. Jumbo, however, decided to take matters into his own hands. He remembered what his father had taught him when he was little, no matter how small you are, you can still make a big difference if you believe in yourself. So, Jumbo bravely stepped forward and started walking towards the source of the roar. As he got closer, he realized that it was a lion who had been wounded during a hunt and needed help. Without hesitation, Jumbo offered his assistance and used all his strength to help the lion back to his den. The next day, as the elephants were walking through the forest, they were surprised to see the same lion walking towards them. The lion approached Jumbo and thanked him for his kindness. From that moment on, the lion and the elephants became friends. They would often share food and protect each other from danger. Jumbo had shown that even the smallest elephant could make a big difference. He had proven that being kind and compassionate could go a long way in life. And so, he became known as the little elephant who could. From then on, Jumbo no longer struggled to keep up with the herd. He had found his place among them, and they had accepted him for the kind-hearted elephant he was. The Great Watering Hole In the heart of the African savanna, there was a great watering hole where all the animals would gather to drink and socialize. But one day, a group of elephants arrived and they were unlike any other elephants in the savanna. These elephants were led by a wise and noble matriarch named Nia. She had traveled far with her family in search of a new home and stumbled upon the great watering hole. Nia was greeted warmly by the other animals, but her elephants were still hesitant and kept to themselves. Days passed and the elephants continued to keep their distance. The other animals grew worried and went to Nia to ask what was wrong. We are different, Nia explained. We do not want to impose ourselves on the others. We will stay here, but we will watch from afar. 
The other animals were saddened by this news and decided to take action. They worked together to create a space for the elephants in the watering hole, building a special section just for them. Slowly but surely, the elephants began to join in with the other animals. They played, drank, and even helped protect the watering hole from predators. Mia was grateful for the kindness shown to her family and made a promise to always protect the watering hole and its inhabitants. And so the great watering hole became a place of unity and peace among all the animals. Thanks to the kindness of a group of elephants who learned that they could be different and still belong. The End The Missing Egg In the heart of Antarctica, there lived two penguins named Pete and Penny. They were a happy couple who loved to spend their days waddling around on the ice and catching fish for dinner. One day, they discovered a beautiful egg that had been left behind by another penguin. Pete and Penny were overjoyed and decided to take care of the egg until it hatched. They took turns keeping the egg warm and protected from the harsh winds of Antarctica. As the days passed, they grew more and more excited for the arrival of their new baby. However, one morning, they woke up to find that the egg was missing. Panic set in as they searched high and low for their precious egg. They asked other penguins if they had seen anything, but no one seemed to know where the egg had gone. Pete and Penny were heartbroken. They had grown attached to the egg. And they couldn't bear the thought of losing their baby before it even hatched. They spent the entire day searching, but still, they found no trace of the egg. Just as they were about to give up hope, they heard a faint chirping coming from a nearby cave. They cautiously made their way to the cave and gasped in amazement at what they saw their egg had hatched. A tiny and cute chick was inside, calling out for its parents. Pete and Penny were overjoyed and relieved. They realized that even though they had lost the egg, they had gained a beautiful chick that they would love and cherish forever. From that day on, they raised the chick with all the love and care in the world. They watched it grow into a strong and healthy penguin, and they knew that they were meant to be this chick's parents all along. The missing egg had turned into a happy ending for Pete and Penny, and they knew that they would always do whatever it takes to protect and care for their family. The Tiger Cubs Adventure In the heart of the dense jungle, a group of tigers lived together. They were ruled by a wise and powerful tiger named Raj. Raj was a skilled hunter and fierce protector of his family. He had taken charge of their safety, and they all looked up to him as their leader. One day, as Raj was patrolling the forest, he came across a tiny tiger cub. The cub was lost and alone, crying out for its mother. Without any second thoughts, Raj brought the cub back to the family. The cub was scared at first but found solace in the welcoming arms of the other tigers. They took the cub under their wing and guarded it fiercely. They named the cub Kiki and treated her like one of their own. As Kiki grew older, she started to explore the forest. She often strayed too far from the safety of the family. It worried Raj, but the little cub was too adventurous to listen. One day, while exploring the forest, Kiki heard a cry for help. It was the voice of a trapped deer. Kiki wanted to help save the deer, so she went to get Raj. Raj was hesitant to let Kiki go alone, but he knew she was determined. So, he followed her to where the deer was trapped. Together, Raj and Kiki worked to free the deer from its trap. After successfully freeing the animal, Kiki felt elated with happiness. She had helped save another animal's life. From that day on, Kiki became the most adventurous tiger in the family. She always strived to help others and became a great asset to Raj. The tigers learned that even the smallest among them could have the biggest impact. They continued to live together, protecting each other, and always looking out for the welfare of the forest. In the end, it was Kiki's boldness and spirit that saved the day. Little Kiki had proven herself to be an adventurous and brave tiger, just like her adopted family. The Tiger's Promise In the dense jungles of India lived two tiger siblings, Raja and Rani. They had always been inseparable since birth and shared everything from food to playtime. 
One day, while they were taking a stroll, they came across a helpless monkey who had fallen off a tree and broken his leg. Feeling sorry for the poor creature. The tigers decided to take care of him until he was fit again. They hunted for him, fed him, and made sure he was comfortable. As the days passed, the monkey healed and grew stronger. One day, as the trio was resting under the shade of a tree, the monkey overheard two hunters talking about wanting to capture the tigers. The monkey knew he had to warn his saviors, but didn't know how to do it without alerting the hunters. But the clever monkeys have an idea. He asked Raja and Rani if they could tie him up in a tree nearby and leave him there for a few hours. The tigers agreed, thinking it would be a game. The monkey continued to act as if he was trapped, making loud noises, and attracting the hunter's attention. When the hunters finally arrived, they saw the monkey in the tree and thought the tigers were coming to rescue him. As the hunters approached the monkey, Raja and Rani emerged from the bushes, roaring loudly, scaring the hunters away. From that day on, the monkey and the tiger siblings remained the best of friends, always looking out for each other. And the promise the tigers made was that they would always protect their new friend and never let anyone harm him. The Great Cat Condo Caper In the heart of the city, there was a notorious group of cats known as the Condo Cats. They were infamous for their daring heists, where they would sneak into high-rise apartments and steal everything from jewelry to fine wines. These cats were so skilled that nobody had ever caught them red pod. One day, a new cat arrived in town named Max Max was unlike any other cat the city had ever seen. He was a mastermind who loved to pull off elaborate schemes. It wasn't long before Max heard about the condo cats and decided to put his talents to the test. Max spent weeks studying the condo cats every move. He watched them from afar, observing their routines and learning their weaknesses. He knew that he needed to gain their trust if he was going to pull off the perfect heist. One night, Max snuck into the condo cat's hideout. He was caught by the leader of the condo cats, a sly Siamese named Sox. Max quickly explained that he wanted to join their crew and offered his services as a mastermind. To Max's surprise, Sox agreed to let him in on their next heist. They were planning to steal a rare painting worth millions of dollars from a wealthy collector's apartment on the top floor of an exclusive building. On the night of the heist, Max put his plan into action. He created a distraction by knocking over a vase, which caused the guards to rush to investigate. Meanwhile, the condo cats snuck inside and made their way to the collector's apartment. With Max's help, the condo cats were able to bypass all of the security measures and steal the painting. They fled the scene undetected and returned to their hideout, where they celebrated their successful heist. As the days went by, Max became more and more trusted by the condo cats. However, he knew that his time with them was limited. Max had bigger plans in mind and knew that he needed to go out on his own. In the dead of night, Max snuck out of the condo cat's hideout with his share of the loot. He disappeared into the shadows, leaving the condo cats wondering where their mastermind had gone. Years later, rumors began to circulate of a new band of cats who were even more skilled than the condo cats. Many suspected that Max. The Donkey's Dream In a far-off land, there lived a group of donkeys who were tired of the monotonous routine of carrying heavy loads every day. They longed for something more exciting in their lives. One day, as they were wandering through the fields, they spotted a balloon soaring high up in the sky. The donkeys gazed at it with wonder and amazement. As the sun set, they gathered around a campfire, discussing the balloon and its incredible journey. Wishing to experience the same thrill, the donkeys decided to build their own balloon. They searched for materials and worked tirelessly day and night. Finally, after several days of hard work, their very own balloon was ready for takeoff. With great excitement and anticipation, the donkeys hopped into the balloon basket and held on tight as it lifted off the ground. They were astounded by the magnificent view from above as they soared higher and higher into the sky. The wind blew them across the vast landscape, and they saw the world in a completely new light. 
For the first time, they experienced a sense of freedom and adventure that they had never felt before. As the balloon began to descend, the donkeys realized that their dream had come true. They had taken a chance. Stepped out of their comfort zone and discovered something amazing beyond their wildest dreams. From that day on, they lived their lives with newfound courage and bravery. They continued to explore the world around them, never allowing fear to hold them back. And so, the donkey's dream had become a reality, and they lived happily ever after, forever grateful for the experience that had changed their lives forever. A Tale of Two Pups Once upon a time, there were two pups named Max and Bella. They lived on opposite sides of a large meadow in the countryside. Max was a big German shepherd with a thick golden coat, while Bella was a small and scruffy Yorkshire terrier. Despite their differences, Max and Bella both loved to run and play. Every day they would chase each other around their respective yards, barking and yipping in excitement. One day, Max noticed that Bella seemed lonely. She didn't have any other pups to play with and Max knew exactly how that felt. So, he decided to cross the meadow and visit Bella. At first, Bella was afraid of Max. He was much bigger and stronger than her, and she wasn't used to having other dogs come into her territory. But Max was gentle and kind, and soon Bella realized that he just wanted to be her friend. They spent the whole afternoon running around together, rolling in the grass and playing tug-of-war with a stick. It was the most fun Bella had ever had, and she was grateful to Max for making her feel less alone. From that day on, Max and Bella became inseparable. They would meet every day in the middle of the meadow. And their bond only grew stronger over time. Even when Max's owners moved away, he would still make the journey back to the meadow just to see Bella. Max and Bella proved that sometimes the strongest friendships can form between the most unlikely pairs. And even though they came from different worlds, they always had each other's backs. The Brave Pup In the deep woods of the forest, a pack of dogs lived happily together. The pack was led by an old and wise German shepherd named Max, who had taken care of each member of the pack like his own children. Among them was a cute little puppy named Ruffy, who was always trying to prove his courage to the pack. One day, while they were out playing in the woods, a loud noise interrupted their fun. It was a group of wolves that had invaded their territory. Max knew what he had to do and immediately ordered the pack to prepare for battle. While the rest of the pack hid behind the trees, Ruffy jumped in front of them, wanting to fight the wolves alone. But the wolves were much bigger and stronger, and soon Ruffy found himself surrounded by them. Just when all seemed lost, Max jumped in to protect Ruffy and fought with the wolves bravely. The other members of the pack saw that their leader was in danger and joined the fight. Together, they fought fiercely with the wolves until they chased them away from their territory. In the end, the pack returned home victorious. From that day on, Ruffy was no longer known as the cowardly pup, but instead, he was known as the brave pup who fought alongside his pack. And Max, who had always been wise and strong, was now also known as the protector of the pack. The Brave Chicken Once in a farm far away in the countryside, there was a group of chickens living together in harmony. Among them, there was a little chick named Lucky. As her name suggests, she was fortunate to have been born under a lucky star. She had a beautiful green feather coat and was the apple of her mother's eye. One day, while Lucky was taking her usual stroll around the farm, she overheard Farmer Dave and his wife talking about something ominous. They were discussing how they were going to slaughter all the chickens and sell them at the market to make some quick money. The news spread like wildfire among the chicken community, and they were all mortified. Except for Lucky, who was determined to find a way out of this situation. She knew that she had to be brave and come up with a plan. Lucky gathered all the chickens together and shared her plan. She suggested that they distract the farmer by making him chase after them while the other chickens escape through a hole in the fence. All the chickens agreed, and they started hatching a plan. The next day, the chickens put their plan into action. 
They ran around the farm, clucking loudly and flapping their wings. The farmer, who was taken aback by the noise, chased after them. Meanwhile, Lucky led the other chickens towards the hole in the fence, and they escaped one by one. Finally, when all the chickens had escaped, Lucky waited for the farmer to approach her. She stood tall and proud and stared him down with her big green eyes. The farmer was so impressed by her bravery that he decided to let her live and even gave her the key to the chicken coop. From that day onwards, Lucky became the leader of the chicken community. She led them with courage and compassion and made sure that they were never in danger again. And whenever the other chickens needed guidance, they would always turn to their brave leader, Lucky the Chicken. The Chicken Caper In a cozy little farm, nestled in the rolling hills of the countryside, lived a group of chickens. There was Chuck, the charismatic rooster, Cluckers, his boisterous sidekick, and the hens Henny, Penny, and Lenny. One day, as the sun began to set and the cool breeze blew through the trees, Chuck noticed that their chicken feed had run out. The group knew that they needed to get more food before dawn, or they would be left hungry. But where would they find enough food for everyone? As they pondered this problem, they spotted a farm across the way. It was rumored to have the best corn and wheat in all the land. Without hesitation, Chuck gathered his friends, and they snuck out into the dark night, determined to get some of that food. The farm was heavily guarded by a fierce dog, but Chuck had a plan. He had noticed that the farmer's son always left a window open in the barn. So the group of chickens made their way to the barn and managed to slip through the window unnoticed. Once inside, they found themselves surrounded by piles of corn and wheat. But just as they began to feast, the sound of barking echoed through the barn. The group panicked and scattered in all directions. It was a close call, but eventually, the chickens regrouped and managed to grab enough food to last them through the night. As they settled down to sleep, Chuck couldn't help but feel a sense of pride in his group. They had pulled off the chicken caper of the century. From then on, whenever they needed food, they would gather together and sneak into the barn always careful to avoid the farmer's son and his dog. And they knew that no matter what obstacles they faced, they would always stick together and come out on top. As dawn broke, the chickens made their way back to their cozy little farm, bellies full and hearts happy. They may have been just a bunch of chickens, but they were also a family. And nothing could break their bond. The Fluttering Friends In a lush green meadow, there lived two butterfly friends named Bella and Breezy. Bella was a beautiful blue butterfly with black spots on her wings, and Breezy was a yellow butterfly with purple stripes. Every day, Bella and Breezy would flutter around the meadow, exploring and having fun. They enjoyed the sweet nectar from the flowers and the warm sunshine on their wings. They loved playing hide-and-seek and racing each other through the petals. One day, as Bella and Breezy were flying through the meadow, they saw a caterpillar struggling to climb up a leaf. They landed beside the poor creature and asked what was wrong. The caterpillar explained that he was trying to get to the top of the leaf to change into a butterfly. But he was too weak and tired. Bella and Breezy knew that they had to help their friend. They took turns lifting the caterpillar up the leaf until he reached the top. Then they waited patiently as the caterpillar spun a cocoon around himself and fell asleep. Days passed, and Bella and Breezy visited the cocoon every day, hoping to see their friend emerge as a butterfly. Finally, one sunny morning, a beautiful green and yellow butterfly emerged from the cocoon. It was their friend, now transformed into a stunning butterfly. The three friends continued to play and explore the meadow together but now they knew that they could always rely on each other to lend a helping wing when needed. From that day on, Bella, Breezy, and their friend became known as the Fluttering Friends, spreading goodwill and kindness wherever they went. The End The Brave Little Hyena Once upon a time, in the heart of Africa, there was a hyena named Hannah. Hannah was unlike any other hyena, she was smaller, skinnier, and her coat was thinner. 
She often felt lonely and left out because the other hyenas didn't want to play with her or invite her to their hunts. One day, Hannah decided to venture out into the jungle alone in search of something exciting to do. She soon stumbled upon a group of animals gathered around a tree. Curious. She approached them. To her dismay, they were all laughing and making fun of her, calling her weak and useless. Hannah wanted to prove them wrong. She suddenly remembered a story that her mother had told her when she was just a baby. It was about a brave little mouse who stood up to a big, scary lion. With newfound courage, Hannah stepped forward and challenged the animals to a game of hide-and-seek. At first, the animals laughed and scorned her, for how could a little hyena like her be good at such a game? But Hannah was determined to succeed. She used her small size and cunning to hide in places the bigger animals couldn't reach, and eventually, she won the game. The animals were amazed at Hannah's bravery and skill. They invited her to join their hunt, and from that day on, she became a dear friend to all the animals in the forest. Hannah learned that it didn't matter what others thought of her, as long as she believed in herself. She carried that lesson with her for the rest of her life and taught it to other animals she met along the way. And so, the brave little hyena lived happily ever after inspiring other animals to be brave and courageous just like her. The Leopard's Big Adventure Once upon a time, in the heart of the African savanna, there lived a playful and curious leopard named Leo. Leo had always been fascinated by the stories he heard from his friends about the other side of the river, where the grass was greener, the trees taller, and the fruit sweeter. But every time Leo asked his parents if he could go and explore the other side, they would shake their heads and remind him of the dangers that lurked in the wilderness. They told him stories of crocodiles that could swallow him whole, lions that could tear him apart, and hyenas that could laugh at him while eating his dinner. But Leo was no ordinary leopard. He was brave, smart, and determined. So one day, while his parents were sleeping, Leo snuck away from his den and crept towards the river. He swam across the strong current and landed safely on the other side. As he explored the new territory, he discovered that everything was just as he had imagined it. The grass was greener, the trees taller, and the fruit sweeter. But he also encountered some animals he had never seen before, like ostriches, zebras, and giraffes. They were all so friendly and welcoming to Leo. And they invited him to play with them. Leo had the time of his life frolicking with his new friends, chasing after butterflies, and jumping over rocks. But when the sun began to set, he realized that he had gone too far and didn't know how to get back to his den. Just when Leo was starting to panic, he heard a loud roar. He turned around and saw a massive lion standing tall and proud. Who are you, and what are you doing here, the lion growled. Leo took a deep breath and introduced himself. He explained that he had come to explore the other side of the river and lost his way. He apologized for trespassing and promised that he meant no harm. The lion looked at Leo for a long moment and then let out a deep sigh. I remember when I was young and adventurous like you, he said. But I also remember the dangers that come with wandering too far from home. Let me guide you back to your side of the river, young Leo. Leo felt grateful and relieved and he followed the lion back to the riverbank. Pony's Adventure in the Meadow Once upon a time, there was a little pony named Rosie. She lived on a farm with her owner, a kind-hearted farmer named Anna. Every day, Rosie would play and run around in the meadow, enjoying the sunshine and fresh air. One day, while Rosie was frolicking in the meadow, she heard a faint cry for help. She followed the sound and discovered a baby bird had fallen out of its nest. Rosie tried to get the bird back into the nest, but she wasn't tall enough. Feeling determined to help the little bird, Rosie ran back to the farmhouse and whinnied as loud as she could to get Anna's attention. Anna immediately understood Rosie's message and rushed to the meadow to see what was wrong. Rosie led Anna to the baby bird and together they built a makeshift nest from nearby twigs and grass. They carefully placed the bird inside and waited for the mama bird to return. After a few hours, 
the mama bird returned to find her baby safe and sound in the new nest. She chirped happily and flew away with her baby. Rosie felt proud of herself for helping the little bird and Anna was so impressed with Rosie's kindness and bravery. From that day forward, Rosie continued to watch over all the animals on the farm, just like a guardian angel. And from that day forward, Rosie became known throughout the meadow as the bravest and kindest pony of them all. The Curious Pig Once upon a time, there was a small piglet named Percy. He lived in a farm with his mother and siblings. However, Percy was always curious about the outside world. Whenever he saw the other animals on the farm, he wondered what life was like beyond their little yard. One day, Percy decided to explore the world outside of his farm. He snuck out quietly while his mother was taking a nap and started walking down the dirt road. As he walked, Percy met many new animals, cows, horses, rabbits, and even some wild birds. He was fascinated by everything he saw and heard. The sun was setting when Percy finally felt tired and hungry. He realized that he was lost and didn't know how to get back to his farm. Just then, a kind old dog came along and asked him where he was headed. Percy told him about his farm and how he had gotten lost. The dog smiled and said, Don't worry, little one. I know the way back to your home. Let's go. The dog then led Percy back to his home, much to the relief of Percy's worried mother. Percy realized that even though he had had an adventure, the safety and comfort of his home were important too. From that day on, Percy stayed close to his family but never lost his curiosity. He would often ask his mother about the world beyond their little farm. And she would tell him stories to satisfy his curiosity. And whenever he took a walk, Percy made sure to stay close to home so he wouldn't get lost again. The End Iggy the Iguana's Adventure Once upon a time, in a tropical rainforest, there was an iguana named Iggy. He loved to spend his days basking in the sun and munching on his favorite leaves, but he always dreamed of having a grand adventure. One day, Iggy decided to venture deep into the jungle, far beyond his usual stomping grounds. As he crept through the underbrush, he encountered all sorts of creatures he had never seen before, colorful birds, chattering monkeys, and even a slithering snake. But just as Iggy was starting to feel brave, he heard a loud roar from up ahead. Suddenly, a huge, ferocious jaguar leapt out of the bushes and began chasing him. Iggy ran as fast as his legs could carry him, but the jaguar was getting closer and closer. Just when it seemed like all hope was lost, Iggy spotted a small stream running alongside the path. Without hesitating, Iggy dove into the water and swam downstream. The jaguar tried to follow. But he wasn't a very good swimmer and soon gave up. Iggy emerged from the water safely on the other side, thrilled by his daring escape. From that day on, he realized that even the smallest and most timid creatures could have exciting adventures if they were brave and clever. And so Iggy returned home to his cozy corner of the rainforest, eager to tell all his friends about the wild tale he had to share. The End The Kind-Hearted Deer Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a herd of friendly deer. They played and grazed together in the lush green meadow. Among them was a little fawn named Billy. He was known for his kind heart and gentle nature. One day, while Billy was playing with his friends, he noticed a family of rabbits who were lost and scared in the woods. They had wandered away from their home and didn't know how to find their way back. Without hesitation, Billy offered to guide them back to their burrow. He gently led them through the dense forest, avoiding thorny bushes and dangerous predators. When they reached the rabbit's burrow, the grateful family thanked Billy and his friends for their kindness. Billy felt happy that he could make a difference in someone's life. From that day on, Billy became the hero of the forest. Whenever anyone needed help, they knew they could count on him. His kindness and compassion had made him loved by all. The other animals in the forest learned an important lesson from Billy. They realized that even the smallest act of kindness can make a big difference in someone's life. So, they too started showing more kindness to each other. 
and thus, the forest became a much happier place to live in, all thanks to the kind-hearted deer, Billy. Dingo's Big Adventure Once upon a time, in the vast Australian outback, there lived a mischievous dingo named Max Max, liked nothing more than exploring the endless stretches of desert, sniffing out new smells and tracking the local wildlife. One day, while on his travels, Max stumbled upon a group of curious little kangaroos who were lost and couldn't find their way back to their home. Max saw how sad and scared the young kangaroos were and decided to help them. He took it upon himself to guide them through the dangerous terrain and lead them back to their mother. Along the way, Max taught the little kangaroos about the different plants and animals that they encountered, making the journey both fun and educational. Despite several obstacles, including harsh weather conditions and encountering a menacing snake, Max remained determined and continued to lead the way. Finally, after many long hours, they spotted a group of kangaroos hopping toward them. With a joyful burst of energy, the little ones scurried over to their mom as she hugged each of them tightly. The grateful mother kangaroo thanked Max for his bravery and kindness. The little kangaroos, now safe and sound, also thanked Max and cheered with excitement for the adventure. From then on, Max was known throughout the outback as a hero, and the mother kangaroo invited him to visit her family anytime he wanted food or water. And so, with a wag of his tail, Max bid farewell to his new friends, feeling proud of his accomplishment. He knew that he had not only saved the lives of the young kangaroos, but also made a lasting impression on them. And so, Max returned to his wanderings, knowing that he had made a difference in the world. The End The Cougar and the Rabbit Once upon a time in a dense forest, a young rabbit named Benny went for a walk to explore the surroundings. Suddenly, he heard a growling sound that scared him. As he turned around, he saw a big cougar approaching him. Benny panicked and tried to run away, but the cougar caught up with him quickly. The cougar stopped him and said, Please don't run away, little rabbit, I won't hurt you. I am very hungry, and I was hoping you could help me find some food. Benny, frightened at first, gathered his courage and replied, I'll try my best. What kind of food do you like to eat? I usually eat deer or elk, but they are too fast for me. I haven't eaten anything in days, and I'm starving, the cougar replied. Benny thought for a moment and said, I know where there are plenty of carrots and other vegetables. Would you like me to take you there? The cougar agreed. And Benny led him to a nearby vegetable garden. As they approached, the farmer saw them and tried to chase the cougar away with a pitchfork. However, Benny bravely stood in front of the cougar and explained they were just looking for some food. The farmer realized that the cougar did not mean any harm and allowed them to enjoy the vegetables. After eating their fill, the cougar thanked Benny for helping him find food. They exchanged goodbyes, and the cougar went back into the wild. From that day on, Benny knew that all creatures, even predators like cougars, appreciated kindness and respect. The End The Brave Little Buffalo Once upon a time, in a vast grassland, lived a herd of happy buffalo. The elder buffaloes were kind and wise, while the younger ones were full of energy and humor. However, one little buffalo stood out from the rest. His name was Bongo, and he was small for his age. His horns were crooked, and his fur was scruffy. Unfortunately, this made him a target for bullies, who often teased him for being weak. One day, as Bongo was grazing with his mother, the herd was suddenly attacked by a group of wild dogs. The older buffaloes tried to defend the herd by charging at the dogs, but they were outnumbered. As the pack of dogs closed in on Bongo and his mother, Bongo knew he had to do something. He mustered up all his courage and charged at the biggest dog in the pack. The dog was taken aback by the little buffalo's bravery and stumbled back, giving Bongo enough time to headbutt him with his crooked horns. As the other dogs retreated, Bongo became a hero among the herd. Even the bullies who once teased him praised him for his bravery. From that day on, 
Bongo was no longer seen as weak, but as a courageous little buffalo who could stand up to anything. From then on, Bongo grew bigger and stronger. And his scruffy coat turned sleek and shining. He was loved and respected among his herd and even became a leader when the old males retired. And whenever the herd faced danger, Bongo would stand at the forefront, his crooked horns and brave heart ready to protect his family. The End Charlie the Crocodile Charlie was a bright green crocodile living in a swamp in Africa. He loved spending his days basking under the sun, quietly swimming in the swamp's cool waters, and catching fish. Charlie was a friendly crocodile who always greeted anyone who came his way. One day, while Charlie was swimming in the swamp, he spotted a group of animals approaching him hastily. It was a bunch of scared animals who were fleeing from their village as they were being chased by a ferocious predator. Charlie could sense that they were terrified and needed help. The crocodile decided to guide them to a safer place in the swamp where they would be protected from the predator. He led them to a hidden cave where they could hide until the predator left. The animals were so grateful to Charlie for saving them. They thanked him for his bravery and kindness. From that day on, Charlie became known as the protector of the swamp, and all the animals in the area looked up to him. Charlie felt proud and happy to have helped those animals in need. He knew that he had done the right thing. And it had made him a better crocodile. Since then, every time Charlie swam through the swamp, he would stop to check on the animals and make sure they were safe. Charlie had become more than just a crocodile, he had become a caring friend and protector of the swamp and its creatures. In the end, Charlie realized that sometimes doing the right thing is not always easy, but it is always worth it. The Panther Who Wanted Friends Once upon a time, in a dense jungle, there lived a beautiful panther. Her jet black fur shone bright in the sun while her sharp green eyes glimmered like diamonds. She was a fierce hunter, feared by all the animals of the jungle for her agility and strength. One day, the panther realized that despite being the strongest and smartest animal in the jungle, she was all alone. While other animals had their friends and family, the panther had no one to play with or share her victories with. This thought made her sad and she longed to have friends of her own. Determined to make friends, the panther set out on a mission. She approached a group of monkeys, who laughed and cackled at her. You are a scary creature, they said, how can we be friends with you? Disappointed, the panther moved on. Next, she saw a group of rabbits playing in a meadow. The panther approached them, and as soon as they saw her, they scrambled away, fearing for their lives. The panther felt even lonelier than before. Determined not to give up, the panther decided to help others instead. She saved a baby deer from a raging river, rescued a bird from a predator, and helped a lost tortoise find its way home. As word of her kindness and bravery spread, the other animals began to see her in a new light. Slowly but surely, the panther made friends. The rabbits came back to her, grateful for her help. The monkeys realized that she wasn't scary after all and asked her to join in their games. Even the birds perched on her strong shoulders, enjoying her company. From that day on, the panther was never alone. She learned that true friendship comes from kindness, trust, and loyalty. And so, the panther who once stood alone in the jungle became the most loved and respected animal in all the land. The End The Adventures of Grizzly the Bear once upon a time, in a lush forest, lived a wise and fierce grizzly bear named Grizzly. He was known across the forest for his strength, wisdom, and courage. The other animals in the forest looked up to him and often sought his advice. One day, Grizzly noticed that some of the animals in the forest were upset and scared. He soon learned that a group of humans had come into the forest and were trying to destroy it to build their houses. The animals were afraid they would lose their homes and be forced to leave. Grizzly realized he needed to take action and help his friends. He gathered all the animals together and told them not to give up hope. He had a plan to save their homes and protect their forest. Grizzly led the animals to the edge of the forest where the humans were working. 
he bravely stepped out and roared with all his might. The humans were startled and quickly left the forest, never to return again. From that day on, Grizzly became even more respected and loved by the animals of the forest. They knew that they could always count on him to protect them and their home from harm. And so, Grizzly continued to live his life in the forest, surrounded by his friends, who still looked up to him and listened to his wise counsel. He was a true hero, who never gave up hope and always stood up for what he believed was right. The Brave Squirrel Once upon a time, in a deep forest lived a community of animals. They all were living peacefully and happily until one day, the forest caught fire, and all the animals got frightened. They ran here and there, but didn't know what to do. Suddenly, a brave squirrel named Chipper got an idea to rescue everyone. He knew that there was a river nearby, and if they could reach there, they could be safe from the fire. Chipper quickly climbed up a tree and shouted to all the animals, Follow me. I know the way to the river. The other animals were hesitant at first. But soon they saw how determined and brave Chipper was. They agreed to follow him. Chipper led the way through the thick smoke and flames, dodging burning branches and falling debris. He guided the animals towards the river, jumping from tree to tree, with the other animals following closely behind him. As they reached the river, they saw that it was too wide for them to cross. Chipper, being the bravest of them all, jumped into the river and started swimming towards the other side. The other animals followed his lead and together they all reached the other side safely. The animals were grateful to Chipper for his bravery and quick thinking, and they cheered for him as he emerged from the water. From that day on, Chipper was known as the bravest squirrel in the forest. He inspired the other animals to be brave too, and they all lived happily ever after. The End The Antelope's Journey once upon a time, in a vast savanna, a group of antelopes gathered around to hear the news of their leader. The leader told them that they must migrate to a new grazing area as the grass had become scarce. One little antelope named Kofi was very excited about the journey. He had never traveled far from his homeland before, and this was his chance to explore the wild. The journey began, and Kofi soon found himself running alongside his family and friends. They traveled through beautiful fields and crossed rivers, but the journey wasn't easy. They faced many obstacles on their way, including predators like lions and spotted hyenas. Despite these dangers, the antelopes continued their journey, and Kofi never stopped running alongside them. He was young, brave, and always eager to help. One day, while they were crossing a river, Kofi noticed that one of the older antelopes was struggling to keep up. He immediately ran to help. Putting his small head under the elder's belly and gently pushing him to the other side. The elder antelope was grateful and praised Kofi for his kindness. From that day on, Kofi became the hero of the herd. Finally, after many days of traveling, the antelopes reached a new grazing area with plenty of grass. They all celebrated together, and Kofi felt proud to have been a part of this great journey. The antelopes had successfully migrated, thanks to their unity and Kofi's bravery. And from that day on, Kofi knew that kindness and bravery are essential qualities that every antelope should possess. The End The Brave Little Boar Once upon a time, in a lush forest, there was a little boar named Bruno. Bruno was always eager to explore the surroundings of his home. His mother had warned him about the dangers of the forest, but he couldn't resist the temptation. One day, while wandering around the forest, Bruno stumbled upon a group of mischievous squirrels. They started teasing him and making fun of his small size. Bruno felt sad and helpless. He wished he could do something to prove that he was brave enough. Suddenly, the squirrel's attention shifted to a wicked old wolf who was approaching the clearing. Bruno knew he had to act fast. Without hesitation, he charged towards the wolf with all his might. The wolf, taken aback by the bravery of the small boar, fled into the woods without looking back. The squirrels were amazed by what they had seen. They had never seen such courage in a boar of Bruno's size. 
From that day on, they became good friends with Bruno. They even nicknamed him the Brave Little Boar. Bruno had proved to everyone that no matter how small or big you are, bravery comes from within. He was no longer just a little boar lost in the forest, but a hero that inspired respect and admiration from all the animals.